Well, I tell you, let me give you a little inside information. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. You're making a run at it, aren't you? Throwing up a stake and going to Vegas. Just sit back and enjoy the show. He beats me. Straight up. Pay him. Pay that me and his money. Live from Las Vegas, this is the Betting First Look with your host, Marco D'Angelo. It is Wednesday, October 24th. We're going to take a look at a college football game for Saturday. I'll recap yesterday and I'll tell you what I've got going on the card for Wednesday. Let's start with the recap. Last night we gave you Troy in college football. Easy winner as Troy wire-to-wire wins last night's college football game. That brings our record to 61 wins and 35 losses the last 96 plays. Guys, we've been ultra consistent here on the betting first look, and you guys know that. You tune in each and every day. You hear the analysis I give you with the plays. Well, our premium service, that's where our best plays go. Even though these are winning plays here on the Betting First Look, I save my best plays for my premium paying clients. And last night we had one play. It was the Boston Red Sox, game one. Easy winner last night as the Red Sox rolled 8-4. to four. We continue to roll for our clients right now, guys. Over the last 10 days, we're 12 and 5. That's over 70% winners, and we've netted a return on our bankroll of 19.93%. We've got another play tonight, Game 2 of the World Series. You can get it when you head on over to wagertalk.com. If you want to save yourself some money, check out a 3, 7, or 30-day all-access package. The bigger the package, the more you save. It brings your cost down per day, and you get every play. You don't miss out on anything. All access gets you every play in all sports for one fee. All right, let's get to why you're here, and that is today's betting first look. And we're going to take a look at a game on Saturday as UNLV travels to play San Diego State. Now, the line on this game has switched as UNLV opened a small favorite, and now they are small dog. Uh, and this is one of those spots where you look at the game and you got two very bad teams playing. But I like the UNLV side here, uh, plus the two and a half in this game. San Jose State, I know this is the only spot I look at the rest of their season schedule. And right now they're 0-7. If they're going to win a game, this is the most likely game that they win. But it just doesn't match up. Uh, You look at last week's game, they gave a gallant effort against San Diego State. I don't see them putting the same uh, level of intensity in this game against UNLV. Uh, San Diego State, you know, being both teams there in California and San Diego State just being down the road, uh, to me that was a big game for San Jose State. And when teams have a big effort, As an underdog, a huge underdog, 25-point underdog, only losing by three, generally they're flat the next week. But let's even ignore that and look at the fact of what UNLV has been doing. UNLV was expected to uh, possibly make a bowl game this year, and four straight losses has derailed that for them. And the problem has been quarterback Armani Jones has been hurt. He's still out, but now the backup is starting to get some production. Two weeks ago, they scored 28 points at Utah State. Granted, the score was 59-28. to And last week, they scored 35 points against Air Force in a 41-35 loss. So the offense is getting better. He passed for 250 yards two weeks ago, and last week passed for 268. Now, for San Jose State, uh, we look at them. The problem with UNLV this year has been their defense. In the last three games, they've given up 50, 59, and 41 points. The problem has been UNLV cannot stop the run, not at all. Well, guess what? San Jose State, after the opening week against Cal Davis, where they ran for 141 yards, uh, overpowering the smaller school, since then, San Jose State has not topped 62 yards in any game rushing the football this year. This is a spot where they don't do what 
they don't do well what UNLV does poorly at. That's going to give UNLV a good shot here. And I think UNLV gets the win here over San Jose State. And now they're an underdog when they were a favorite. I'll go ahead and take UNLV here plus the points. Line currently at plus two and a half. I have UNLV winning this one in uh, probably another high-scoring game. But I've got UNLV winning it 35 to 30. 35-30 UNLV. That is the betting first look for Wednesday. And again, guys, if you like the way I go into detail with plays and look at all the different angles, head over to wagertalk.com. Jump on board, guys. You get all of my plays, and with each and every play, you get a detailed written analysis about why I'm playing the games. I feel you should know why you're betting who you're betting, and that's why I break it down for you. Each and every play you get from me actually is a little mini handicapping lesson with the write-up. Head over to wagertalk.com right now, check out Game 2 of the World Series, or jump on board an all-access package, get everything I've got, and we've got a big play coming on Saturday, 5% play, and then, of course, don't forget, our NFL plays are hitting 64% this season, and, of course, our NFL plays regarding the Steelers, a perfect 6-0, and we'll have a play there as well. Head over to wagertalk.com. I'll be back on Thursday. As always, thanks for stopping by and listening to The Betting First Look.